Sure. Let's start with the roll call. Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Petroselli? Here. Mr. Gallarducci? He's Mr. He's muted, but he's here, yeah. Mr. Colosimo? He's here, too. Mr. Verducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Here. Mr. Shashalski? Here. Mayor Copeland? He's here. I see him. He's on mute. Yep. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Brett? Here. Chief King? There you go. Now say hello. I'm, I'm here. here. Chief Costain? Here. And then Mr. Miller? Well, how come it goes? It just goes. Just move the curse. Okay. Um, welcome to the December uh, Borough Bridgeville meeting. Um, do we have any visitors in the uh, waiting room that want to speak? All mics are on, so if anyone wants to. Are there any visitors that uh, want to speak this evening? One more time, are any visitors that want to speak? Okay, we'll move on to the regular order of business. Uh, Joe, if you want to mute those lines, that'd be great. Okay, I need a motion to approve the November 9th, 2020 regular meeting minutes as submitted. I shall move. Nino and uh, BJ, uh, I'm sorry, second. I'll second it, yeah. Second BJ, all in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? That motion carries. Need a motion to approve the December 2020 bill list. I'll move, Bill. A second, Nick. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to approve the December 18th, 25th, January 1st, and 8th, 2021 payrolls. I shall move. I'll second it. You know, and BJ, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to adopt the resolution number 2020-21, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville approving the budget for the fiscal year 2021 and adopting the same. Uh, Joe V will move. Nicholas I second, second Joe. Not anybody else, it's funny. So Joe uh, made the motion and Nino a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to adopt the resolution number 2020-22, resolution of the borough of Bridgeville setting the tax rates for the year 2021. Note that the 2021 millage remains unchanged, 6.5 mills on buildings and 10 mills on land. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Motion carries. I need a motion to adopt the resolution number 2020-23, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville establishing fees for the filing of applications, permits, and licenses for the borough. So move. I'll second it, BJ. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1019, an ordinance of the Borough of Bridgeville amending the Borough's Code of Ordinances, Chapter 18, Part 3, Sewage Rates and Collection, to establish sewage rates for 2021, to clarify and update rules for billing and collection, and to provide for sewage rate adjustments to be adopted by resolution of Borough Council as authorized under law. I'll move. I'll, I'll second. Sir. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to approve the Morgan Heights LLC plan of lots, lot line relocation between two existing lots at 362 and 372 Washington Avenue, pending satisfying and or any recommendations from Allegheny County Department of Economic Development. Under notes, plan has been reviewed by the borough engineer and he confirms that it conforms to the borough zoning subdivision and land development ordinances. Plan has also been recommended or recommended for approval by the uh, Bridgeville Planning Commission. 
I have a question. You have a question under that? Go ahead. Um, Joe, was there any purpose of them moving the parking spaces to the other building? Is there some type of plans in the future? Uh, I couldn't answer. I know the applicant is actually uh, on the line tonight. If we'd like, if he could answer, he could un unmute himself if you're okay with that. Yeah. So uh, we're adding the we're, we're we're selling the building down there, and we're adding the parking onto the uh, apartment buildings. So you're, you're selling the building that had the parking spaces. So you're taking the parking spaces away from the building you're selling and no, just so adding so them to the other property. No, it's actually the opposite. Um, the, the parking lot is actually on the property of 362 Washington Avenue. And it's gonna be, now it's gonna be joined with the property on 372 Washington Avenue. And 372 is an apartment building? It is, yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll entertain a motion. If there's no more questions. So move, Bill. This is BJ. I'll motion. Take a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. The motion carries. I need a motion to approve change order number three for the McLaughlin Run Park Improvement Project. Change order will extend the contract completion date by seven calendar days to accommodate delays. So moved. Second. You know, and Joe, all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. <clears throat> Need a motion to concur and recommend to the Shar West Council of Governments to accept the lowest responsible bid and award contract to Independent Enterprises Incorporated in the amount of $38,775 for the base and add alternate bids for the CD46 ADA ramps and sidewalk improvements project. Note that the CDBG grant awarded an amount of 38,000 and will replace the ADA ramps on Murray and Station Streets. I'll uh -oh. move. We got BJ and uh, Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $15,682.50 from the general fund to Stefanik's Next Generation Contract Company for partial payment number one of the Police Department Sally Port Concrete Floor Repair Project. So moved. I'll second it, BJ. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. Aye. Just a note, uh, Joe Cower, thank you so much for sending pictures out with your notes. It's a it's a great way to keep us. It really is. Really appreciate that. Joe, Joe, is that project almost done? Uh, yes, the floor has to cure now for, to the end of the month, and they have to seal it one more time. So the police will be able to park in the garage beginning of the year. Great. I need a motion to authorize a disbursement of $191,452.50 191, from the Capital Projects Fund to LM&R Excavating, LLC, for partial payment number one for the McLaughlin Run Park Improvements Flood Mitigation Project. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, this is probably for Kevin. Kevin, uh, so if we're paying out $191,000. So that only leaves us about 80 grand left. Yes, I assume yes. that's sufficient as far as all the work that still needs done. Seems yeah, they, they have the, uh, the earthworks been, been completed other than putting the topsoil down and uh, they're starting the uh, trash rack actually. So our expectations are other than some minor touch up in the spring, they're gonna get finished here before the end of the year. Um, so they did well with getting the earthwork done quickly. So is that a whole 80,000 being held until next spring or were you anticipating another disbursement? I figure in January, um, we'll probably take it down to 10%. And then the last 10% will be in the spring after um, the grass grows. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I'll entertain a motion for that disbursement. I'll move it. Do I have second. a second? Second by Joe. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. 
I need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $57,895.25 from the Capital Projects Fund to Sciuretti Site Development and Paving Company for partial payment number three of the McLaughlin Run Park Improvements Project. I assume moved. Motion by Nino. Do I have a second? I'll second. Joe, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. I need a motion to authorize a borough engineer to prepare plans, specifications, and construction documents for the following projects. Number one, the stormwater separators project. Number two, the McLaughlin Park storm sewer outfall repair. And number three, the borough building roof replacement. Do I have a motion? I, I'll give you the motion, Bill. This is BJ. Second. Second by Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? A bill, one, I'm sorry, one more question. Kevin, same thing with this one. So it's about 100,000, a little over 100,000. <laughs> all those projects? Yes. You good, Joe? Yeah, thank you. Sorry. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to authorize Garvin, Boward, Beatco Engineering Company to complete geotechnical engineering necessary for the Werner Avenue retaining wall project. That's similar. Motion by Nino. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Be good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Look forward to that project getting done. That seems to get yeah. getting yeah. worse. Over there. Getting worse. Yeah. Need a motion to exonerate tax collector Anne Marie Parisi from the collection of 2017 delinquent real estate taxes that have been sent to Jordan Tax Service for leaning. I'll move it. I'll Joe Reducey and second by BJ. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due November 2020 real estate tax collector's report. I'll move. I'll second. Second by Nick. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the October and November 2020 treasurer's report. I'll move. <clears throat> Joe Verducey, do you have a second? I'll second. Second. Second by Nick. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to accept the November 2020 police report. So move, BJ. I'll second, Nick. My Nick, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Mr. Yeah. Chairman? Yes, sir. Uh, you skipped number 13. I did, huh? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I need a motion to authorize a disbursement of $129,631.35 from the Highway Aid Fund to Youngblood Paving Incorporated for partial payment number one for the 2020 Roadway Improvement Project. I shall move. Nino, do I have a second? I'll second it. Second by BJ. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I'm sure young blood would not have been happy with me if we got <laughs> Okay, we'll move on to committee reports. Uh, administration, Virginia Schneider. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, currently, the administrative offices are closed to foot traffic. However, the lobby is still open for drop off payments. Um, and those visitors requiring an in person meeting can do so by requesting an appointment ahead of time. And they're utilizing the meeting room, the municipal building meeting room, um, because you're able to practice the appropriate social distancing uh, in that room. However, the room will not be open for any other group meetings um, of any kind. Um, I think, Bill, we talked about last month, we're going to currently, I think we'll continue with the um, virtual meetings in January. I don't know if you want to talk about that now, but I think given the situation, um, maybe we should just continue this platform until further notice. Um, that's why I wanted to let the residents know that ahead of time. Um, yep. And is that all right with you? I think we discussed uh, 
last time, but we talked about it before the meeting and just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's what's the date of our first meeting, Joe? Do you know offhand? The 11th. It's early, right? With June 11th. Okay. So yeah, I, I mean, given the you know, situation and circumstances of rising numbers, I think it makes prudent sense to uh, continue in this vein right now. So. Um, okay. And then lastly, uh, the employee handbook as well as the newly defined job descriptions are still currently under review with the solicitor. Um, hope to have those by January. Um, and uh, employee performance reviews are currently underway. So we're moving forward. Thanks, Joe, for all of your hard work uh, and Tom for getting this, this through. Um, it's been long awaiting. So that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, BJ. You're welcome. Uh, finance, Joe Verduzzi. Thanks, Bill. Um, budget to actual reports uh, for all funds uh, reflect us paying all the money through or all the bills through the end of the month. And uh, the only things that we have are two payrolls and a utility bill, uh, utility bills to pay. So we're pretty close to where we are as far as our projections over our uh, budget from last year. Uh, the general fund had a revenue of 106% and expenditures at 92. So, so during this uh, uh, COVID, uh, we definitely tightened our belts in anticipation of, of uh, some revenues coming down and they didn't come down as, as much as we anticipated. So that's a great thing. Uh, the other great thing was that we had only uh, about $11,000 that we had to, uh, that were outstanding for seven, from 2017, which we were very pleased about. Um, and uh, everybody saw the report from Anne Marie. Uh, as far as the delinquent sewage, uh, unfortunately we had to send uh, the second round of liens to Jordan Tax Service on, on those. Um, but uh, remember the shutoffs have been suspended due to the pandemic. So um, we're, we're in the process of the, what we were required to do on that as well. Um, as far as the capital improvement loan, uh, that is all behind us. That was finalized in the end, uh, middle of November. Uh, those funds are in the general fund uh, and uh, will be uh, used for the uh, capital improvements uh, that we are looking to do. Of course, the first loan payment is coming out uh, later this week. So we're, we're in, the, uh, in the stage of starting to pay that back and uh, really excited about all the things that we had to approve today. Uh, because of uh, us moving forward with the plans we've put in place for uh, over a year, if not two. So excited about that. Uh, that's all I have to report. Any questions? Thank you, Jim. Any, any questions? Jim? Nope. Nope. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. Okay, I'll try to be real quick here. Uh, all the parks, the restrooms have all been winterized. So keep that in mind if you want to visit the parks. Uh, Charteris Park gate is supposed to be opened on days that there are no, there's no snow or inclement weather by either the park, public the park or works or the police. Uh, what else do I have? I've been, in, I've been talking to Aaron Weaver from the library and they are interested in placing uh, storyboards in one of the parks. You know, McLaughlin or Chartiers, which they would be responsible for placing and maintaining the signs and whatnot. I've asked her to, uh, I've talked to Joe Carr about this. Joe said he'd be the go between with the borough and the library on this thing. They've applied for a grant, which is supposed to come out in the spring. But if they don't get the grant, they want to go ahead and do this anyway. So sometime down the road, we're going to have storyboards in one of the parks. Also, I noticed an item in the uh, signal item regarding McLaughlin Park. They implied more or less that we were definitely putting in an all-purpose field down at the excavation site. Now, as far as I know, we haven't decided anything on that, whether we're going to put a ball field down there, an all-purpose <clears throat> It's still up in the air budget-wise and whatnot, whether we need a new ball field or not. So this is down the road. I'm not saying we're not going to do it, but we just haven't made that decision yet. So that's all I have. I, I have a question on that, Joe. So what, 
when they finish, what, is that just going to be a field of grass? As of now, yeah, I would. I think there's an engineer might answer this, but I think they got to play grass down there. Yeah, they will. Yeah. So uh, okay. you'll have nice green space grassy area anyway, but as to whether or not we finish it, we have to decide that yet. Okay. Any questions of Joe? Okay, thank you, Joe. Uh, Public Works, Nino Petrocelli. Uh, uh, Nino got a bump okay. vote, so I said I'd read some of the items off his report here for him. Uh, the leaf and brush grinder collections ended on December 4th. Uh, the first call out for the snow removal was on December 1st. The Barland Township Managers of Collier, Bridgeville, Scott, Carnegie, and Heidelberg are working on putting the emergency plan in place with each child should there be a COVID-19 outbreak within one of the public works departments. And if there is a large snow or, can't see, neighboring neighborhood towns to help plow roads in the neighboring towns, should a chart department be short staffed. Uh, also the public works department has placed a partition in the, uh, the administrative offices between uh, Cheryl Glowwork or Cheryl Valentino's office. There's a door now and a partitioning wall between the uh, two offices. So there's more or less two separate offices to provide uh, privacy and Sound. basically soundproofing between the lobby and the different offices. So it's, uh, that's, that's okay. basically it. Uh, that deputation that's uh... Also, it's a security purpose as well, as someday other security things will come in that area. We need that sooner or later. And Joe, did you uh, mention that we got some applicant <clears throat> for public work? No, I didn't. There was, we uh... got some applicant from public work. I believe we got 10. Right, Joe, we got 10 of them, right? Yes, sir. And we choose, uh, I believe we choose, uh, my mind is not too good, actually. I'm doing pretty good with that COVID. Um, I think we choose five or four, something like that. So we plan it on interview them at the end of December. We would like to, uh, hire them, present it to, to the board on the January meeting and the financial committee would have to see how the, uh, the, the budget is, but I'm sure they will be all right because Chuck is leaving in February and the, the hiring would be the last cycle, of course, of the payroll of January. And we'll let you know about our uh, interview. We got some good applicants, and uh, we may have uh, something good coming up from those Joe, people. Joe, I think we, we we included that in the budget anticipation of January, wasn't oh, it? Oh, good, good, yes. good. I'm, I'm glad, yes. That's true, yes. Very good. So we'll let you know what we're going to do. And uh, if you want to, if you, if full council want to interview them, that's fine. I always <clears throat> hear when we, well, beg your pardon. If you want our recommendation, we'll, we'll present the candidate. Okay. Let us Okay. Know. Thank you, Nino. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Public safety, Bruce Gallarducci. He's been having some technical difficulties back and forth. So uh, I don't know if he's looks on. Looks like he's froze right now. I didn't see him. Uh, the only thing I have, Bill. <coughs> is. Uh, um, I don't know if you can hear us, Bruce, but we're, we're having difficulty with you. Not with you personally, but 
<laughs> we'll take like you soon. Hey, wait, I'll, I'll move on to the mayor and we'll come back to Bruce. Let's see if that gets unfrozen for him. Uh, mayor Betty Copeland. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to wish everyone. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Happy Hanukkah, Merry no. Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and we certainly need to be proud of the fact that our senator elect Devlin Robinson is from Bridgeville, and he will be sworn in January fifth. So we need to send him congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Police Chief Chad King. Thank you, Council President. Um, obviously, uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to go to Monroeville to attend the yearly Stuff a Store event. I uh, picked up a lot of gifts and I'll be distributing them tomorrow to the kids at the local daycare centers in Bridgeville. Obviously, we're going to do it a little differently this year, having the social distance and wear masks. But uh, the kids at all the local daycares will get some presents. Uh, Thursday of this week, I have a big uh, delivery of toys donated from Toys for Tykes. They'll be coming in this Thursday. And we plan on utilizing those on Sunday the 20th when we team up with the fire department. We're going to figure a way to incorporate our yearly Buddy the Elf event with the fire department with Mr. and Mrs. Claus and uh, go mobile throughout the town so as not to have a big gathering in one area. And the plan is to try to distribute toys to all the kids that can run out of their house real quick and come to the curbside. And on every street, we should have enough toys for every boy and girl that we see. So it might be a little tough and a little slow going at times, but uh, we'll find a way to make it work. Hey, hey, Chief, I'm a little disappointed we're not seeing your beard. I was all excited to show off my goatee just to compare it with yours. <laughs> you know what, Joe? I had a picture set up to go on Zoom, but it didn't take for some reason. I'm having some issues with it. So I, I don't know what's going on with this. You've gotten a good response from that. It seemed like it was uh, going really well. Yeah. Yes. Of course we extended it through December for the guys that wanted to participate. Everybody paid another entry fee and uh, we should have several hundred bucks to donate to uh, at the end of November to the uh, South Hills area meals on wheels. And uh, I think some of the guys just appreciate the fact they were allowed to grow a beard, you know, for a few short months out of the year. So it was kind of nice. Is there a penalty on being allowed to shave it? Because it's really <laughs> scratchy to me. <laughs> yes, for council members, the penalty is twice the normal fee. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, so. why aren't you moving on? We need to move on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> if I could so. hit that mute button up there, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I have. And uh, I think. Uh, if you're able to tune in this Sunday, uh, we're going we're gonna to try to make a little skit, you know, go live to be quick with it. And uh, it should be quite entertaining as, as it has been the past year. So that's all I have. And uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks, Thanks Chief. Thank you. Stay safe out there, man. Thank you. Uh, let me go back to Bruce Gallarducci. Looks like he's moving around on there now. Can you hear me, Bruce? <laughs> Poor Bruce. Are you there, Bruce? Yeah, we we couldn't hear you speaking before on your you, report. Do, is yeah, there can you, you want to hear me? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, <coughs> I see him. He's moving, but I can't hear him. He's muted. How about now, okay. Bill? Okay, we got you now. Go ahead. Okay. The only thing I had was the the, the uh, Joe and Chad working on a. We're, we're struggling with you, Bruce. We, uh, you, you're freezing and we can't understand what you're saying. So. Bruce, why don't you call in? COVID for the... Um, 
Yeah, we well, we lost him totally there. <laughs> so I did not do that. <laughs> he dropped. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the solicitor, Tom McDermott. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. You have my written report. I just wish to uh, extend to everybody uh, my best wishes uh, on the holiday and uh, thoughts and prayers to Nino and family. I know no virus is as tough as he is, and uh, everybody keep masked up and uh, look forward to getting together in the new year. Well said, well said, Tom. Uh, Borough Engineer Kevin Brett. Uh, yeah, we uh, did provide our report. And uh, just a quick update, the road program is complete. Um, <clears throat> parking lot's complete. We included a few pictures of the various projects. Um, public works, um, the parks project, um, flood control contractor's been moving along well. And the paving contractor, we've been back and forth with him on whether or not an additional time extension till spring is going to be necessary to complete the paving with the weather that's going to come in this week. We believe that is necessary. So we're going to go ahead and prepare a change order to extend his contract to May 15th of next year. Um, that way, when the plants open in the spring, he can finish because currently there's a couple of soft spots that need fixed uh, in the sub base. And uh, we're working through the cost for that with him. And we would hate to pave this and then have it fall apart um, because of inclement weather. So um, we do recommend extending the time period until May 15th. So the park can be open next year. Um, he just has the paving and a little bit of landscaping to complete. So uh, other than that, the other projects um, you awarded tonight, we actually have pre-construction meetings on um, Bower Hill and the backflow preventer tomorrow. And the contractor will get started on those. Um, Jane Street, we're still waiting on materials to come in. Some of that stuff is on back order, um, but those all should be completed uh, in the first quarter next year. So, any questions? Who said this was a slow time of year, huh, Kip? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are busy, buddy. And uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, also. Same to you, Brett. All right. Fire Chief Ray Custain. Good evening, everyone. Uh, December, or I'm sorry, November's call volume. Uh, we finished the month with 26 calls. Um, happy to announce that the fire department placed in the service last Thursday uh, two PAPR units. Uh, what a PAPR is, is a uh, air purifying system that we wear on medical calls uh, when the fire department responds on QRS calls. Um, they are the safest out there right now dealing with COVID patients. So we're, we're fortunate to have those two units. Unfortunately, we did uh, have one active member uh, get diagnosed with COVID. Uh, fortunately, he has uh, pretty much recovered. He's able to return to duty next week. Uh, he is doing very well with it. Um, as Chad announced, the Santa detail is this Sunday. It does start at noon. And uh, lastly, I too would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, let me add a happy COVID-free New Year. Yep, you are right, my friend. Yep. Also, I want to, if I may make one more announcement, uh, just a reminder um, that we are doing the slate full of cash tickets. That drawing does go off on Christmas night at 7 p.m. Anyone still uh, wishing to, to buy tickets can get in contact with any member or go to our website. Our face, I'm sorry, our Facebook page. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is Dan Miller on? I didn't, I didn't see him. I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't believe so. Okay. He did submit a written report. The, pardon me? He did submit a written report. Yeah, I, I saw his written report. Um, historical Society, anybody on from the Historical Society? Yes, President Mary Wise would still like to encourage council members to buy a membership for $15. And we still have our note cards also available for sale. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Anyone from the library? Um, Liz, I see Liz from the Parking Authority. Liz, you have anything to add to the meeting tonight? You're on mute. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can't hear you. Okay, nothing to add? 
Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, anyone from the Planning Commission? Or? One from Planning Commission. And uh, Borough Manager Joe Cower. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions off my written report that was submitted. Uh, just a reminder for the public that all the written reports of all the officials is posted on the borough website after each council, after each council meeting. meeting. It's a good reference. I would encourage everyone to just take a look at it. They're on the uh, council meeting page. There's a section for reports. It's interesting. Nice. Thank you, sir. Do I have anything under old business? Uh, Mr. Chairman, how about that, um, if you may, excuse me, uh, the letter from Plenty Commission. Uh, you, uh, you guys want to give the, them a response in regards of the chickens? I remember a guy that, uh, uh, yeah, Joe know him very well at the cog. Always talking about chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> Any response on that? Well, it's open for discussion right now. Oh, I'm sorry. So you have that on the agenda? No, no, no. You brought it up, so we're it's okay. open for discussion. <laughs> well, we give we give them the permission to uh, to did some uh, background, some research, but I don't think they went too far on it. Uh, I don't agree uh, with them, in my opinion, because you know we have uh, other creatures that uh, there be discrimination to so many other creatures, uh, animals. Uh, some people they have snakes for pets. Some people they have this. They have that. So I don't know. It, uh, we should de definitely think about it. I don't know, Mr. Chairman, what do you think about it? But uh, well, we should think about it and uh, give them an answer. I would say I don't have a dog in the fight, all right, or, or a chicken in the coop, if you will. Um, I don't own chickens, and, and rest assured, I don't intend to run out and, and, uh, and buy some should we pass an ordinance. But, you know, I, I don't know that we put forth enough effort into looking into factual information to be uh, my own personal opinion. Um, I heard a lot of rumors about rodent infestation, uh, the inability to enforce the ordinances, and, uh, problems of our town somewhat being overrun by chickens is what it almost sounded like. But uh, I, I've read a lot about it, both in favor and, and against keeping the chickens. Um, I didn't know chicken, chickens created good fertilizer. You know, I didn't know they provide, I didn't know they, they provide, you know, farm to table fresh eggs. So there's, there's a lot of things good about it, but um, listening to the Planning Commission, they brought up some, in my opinion, some valid points. Um, you know, I, the side yards and the, and the perimeter setbacks and things. Um, we talked about road and, you know, issues that may come with it. I, I don't know, I, I personally, I, I would have liked to have seen us go back and address some of the concerns with the ordinance, um, such as setbacks. Because personally, again, I'd, if we if we write it right, not every home in this community will be able to have chickens. I mean, if you put setbacks, you know, not every you know, lot is built for it. But some are, and and if we write it right, I think we would be able to have something that we could enforce. So well, I, I think part of what what uh, planning commission did say is, is that if they modified it and did certain changes, were there enough of the committee that were okay with those changes to, to, uh, to uh, submit a ordinance? I think that they were trying to save uh, the trouble as well as the money of going forward. Um, I'm the same way as you. I'm. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, it sounds like it could be more issues in regards to what they talked about, but I don't have any evidence over that. Um, but I think that that was part of the reason that they didn't see fit on moving forward on having Tom um, continue on in regards to the expenses. Please, Tom, don't take that the wrong way. Um, just Not at the. All. Uh, uh, the additional resources to move forward. It didn't, it sounded like they, they weren't moving forward or because they didn't see fit. 
Um, that was at least my interpretation when it, uh, being at the Planning Commission and listening to their discussions. I, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. I would tell you, we, we just authorized payments of about, I can't tell you how much money for things around town today. I, I think that the, the ordinance is written, basically. I think you just need some adjustments to it to address some concerns for consideration. And again, I'm not suggesting that we pass this. I'm suggesting that we, we address it with an ordinance that would, that would work for this community so that we could consider it. And then people can vote their, you know, their position on this. Not everybody's for it. I don't think everybody's against it, but I think, I think we owe it to ourselves you know, for the, the minimal more time that Tom would have to put into it to, to at least um, address it for those people that have shown concerns that they're interested in doing this. So that's my two cents. Open agree, the floor Bill. to anybody for comment. I agree, Bill. I think we need to explore more options. That. I think given the, the likelihood of COVID has not given us the ability to explore as many options um, in person, um, checks on these places as much as maybe you or I or Joe Cower may have liked um, or in general that there are things that you know we may not feel comfortable doing maybe setting up committee to explore these options I mean I know there's been some vehement responses to not having chickens and I also know there's been some vehement responses to these are my pets these are my family and I understand both sides um, I, I wish that we could further explore the option um, in 2021. It should be definitely that, limit. I'm sorry, Nick. It should I'm be sorry. limit how many of those you want. We already went to in council to make sure they don't disturb the uh, the neighbor uh, part of the property. We went through that. I don't know. It, it don't make no difference to me. I, I was born in a farm. I mean, I like all the animals. Uh, it's the ton is uh, they re, a lot of people want them. A lot of people don't want them. So <coughs> excuse me, it's up to, the, it's up to us to have a, uh, the solicitor checking on and, and and see what we could do so we can satisfy uh F of the people are, well, that's hard. We'll never satisfy for everybody. Right. I just <laughs> you can do some research, Mr. Chairman. That's correct. Can I ask a quick yeah. question on these chickens? Uh, Joe <laughs> Cower or anybody else, could you have any idea how many people are actually wanting chickens or actually have chickens in Bridgeville? I couldn't answer how many people want them. Uh, I know a good half dozen already have them. Yeah. Okay. All right. If I might very briefly, not chiming in one way or the other, if, if council wishes, uh, the, the setback, I think that was just done the way it was traditionally. We can certainly, Joe and I, in 10 minutes, can come up with and fix it and peg it to traditional things within your yard set back from your own border and secondly just re with regard to enforcement um if you look in the total chapter a lot of the teeth in the um enforcement and in the sanitation requirements is in the overall chapter in other words that pertains to dogs cats chickens if this was enacted as well um, but we could certainly add any teeth as quickly as you wish to it as well, but it is all in there in terms of the enforcement that we borrowed from other uh, model ordinances. And again, that's all at council's pleasure. Are there, are there any other comments about the issue? So what I, what I think we're, we're challenged with right now is do we, uh, as a group authorize the solicitor to pursue amendments to that ordinance as written to address the concerns, or do we as a group uh, accept the recommendation from the planning commission and, and move forward? So that, that's what's in, in front of us. I would, uh, I would delay that uh, any of the uh, comment, any of the permission, uh, 
uh, negative or positive to the planning commission. I want to delay for a while. Let's talk about it next year or something. Because some people, they definitely they want, like Nick said, that's my pet, you know, and uh, uh, hurts their feelings. And uh, I, I, I don't know. It don't make any difference to me. But I hear a lot of comment. Uh, no, you can't take that much. You can't take the chicken away from me. But if some people say you can't take this from me. We we, we the one. Uh, let's let's do some study. If you wish to authorize Tom to give us a better uh, look, better ordinance or better idea, I'd be more than glad. If you want to wait a month or two, that's all right. That's what I I'm would. Doing. I would like to see us table it if possible. I would like us to do some more due diligence on both sides of the matter. Maybe look yeah. into, is this a rat problem? Is this a, more of a personal problem with neighbors? Um, I, I would just like more information on both sides of the discussion, to be honest. And that's, that's gonna fall on us at this point because the planning commission has made the recommendation. So if we need, if we're going to look into it, that's going to be on us at this point. Absolutely. So, Okay, we either accept their, their uh, we either accept the recommendation or do our uh, our study, one or the other. But we can think about it. It's going to be too cold. They're going to be inside anyway, pretty soon. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have anything else under old business? <laughs> How about new business? Uh, I got some new. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Nick. All right. I have a few things I'd like to say for new business. Um, first, I'd like to send a thank you to all our community and patrons and that's Bridgeville area for reaching out for my twin sisters and I um, birthday food drive for Bethany um, Community Bridgeville Area Community Food Bank. We raised over $1,500 cash and about 2,000 plus cans of non-perishable foods. So thank you very much, uh, Bridgeville and everyone for who donated and helped out and spread the word. Also, you know, everybody's a little bit aware of where I work. I'd really appreciate if everybody can get out and help support local small businesses. Bridgeville is a community that's honestly, it's run and grown on these small businesses from the top down. And if we can all just give a little bit more, I know there's not a lot to be given from all of us, but there's just a little bit more, even if it's just kindness, uh, it can go a long way in this, this holiday season. Um, furthermore, I'd like to just thank, thank everybody for a great 2020. Things could have been a lot more difficult. And I think we all work really well together. Um, beyond that, happy holidays, stay safe and get well soon. Nino. Thank you. Thank you. I, I too would like to wish the residents a, a very Merry Christmas and a, and a happy holiday season, um, especially to those who are struggling to cope uh, with the pandemic, whether it's health issues or finances or just downright tired of this pandemic. Um, Hang in there, hoping for a better 2021. Thank you all, council members, for all the work you did. This was a challenging year. Some would say it might be easier to do things this way uh, by Zoom, but I, I would argue it's more of a challenge. Our communication gaps at times were, were hard, but uh, you guys worked hard to, to get through this, and I appreciate all the work you guys put into it. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you and all the residents. Anybody else? Thank you. Same to you. I'll take a motion to adjourn it. I'm so sorry, you have something, BJ? I was just going to make a comment about the winter blast um, and a nice job that that the BCA and the fire department, namely Ray Costin and Diane and Nick for being the ugly elf that scared my kids. But um, <laughs> thank you for the job and in, in such a, you know, um, troubling times. Some people came out. We had a lot of cars that came by and picked up the uh, the families picked up their their bags. Um, so things moved forward, and I think everybody had a great job. Mayor Copeland turned on the lights, so I appreciated it. I was there in person, and I thought they did a great job, and I appreciated that uh, they put forth the effort. So thanks to all of you. Thank you. Oh, and and Pat DePlazio, Pat, it was great. Thanks for the hot. <laughs> All right, thank you all. Any uh, any other comments under new business? If not, I'll take a motion to adjourn. 
So move. Second. Oh, I have a second. Second. All, of, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed? Motion adjourned.